is lying around the bend. Welcome to St. John, New Brunswick Harbor. This is the Marco Polo. All right, and when you're in St. John's, you might see other cruise ships. Here we're sharing the port with the Norwegian Joy, a beautiful cruise ship in St. John's. There's no better way to get here than by cruise ship. All right, we just got off the Carnival Magic and we're in St. John, New Brunswick. New Brunswick, that's right. And we're going to show you a whole street tour of this town because there is a lot to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. We've got history, food, seafood. Oh my God. And did I mention pubs? Lots of beer. <laughs> if you are a drinker, come to St. John's. I think it's Prince William Street. There are so many bars and even all the way at the top of the hill that we're going to show you in this video. Stay tuned and let's get right into it. And when you get off the ship, you got this, the container stores. There are some great shops in here. All right, this is cool. This is the hop on and hop off bus. The big pink sightseeing bus. If you're getting off the cruise ship, this might be something to do. The old double decker, big pink sightseeing bus. These guys are gonna have a blast. You just hop on and hop off as you're going through town. And there's a lot of history here in St. John. Look at these old Victorian homes. Just look at this, and I find this unique right on the corner. You want to get your hair cut, stop at this barber shop. And this is what St. John's Port looks like, where your cruise ship comes in. Right there's the pink bus, hop on and hop off. And you can see, literally, it is right when you get off the boat. Yeah. Um, when you're in St. John, you make sure you're walking down some of these historic streets. And look up because the history is incredible. Look at these buildings and architecture. Steamers Lobster Company. This must be good. Look at the line for this place. I don't know if I have that kind of time. Woodchuck's axe throwing. Beer, wine, and spirits. You gotta love the streets here in, in St. John. Right here, this looks like if it was late, this would be the bar district. There is another Irish bar. Ask and Kettle Irish Gastro Pub. What's that all about? All right, this historic street is called Prince William Street. But there is no shortage of bars. Here's a pub oyster bar. This is called Gahan House Port City Oyster Bar. There's an ice cream shop. And when you're in St. John, make sure you're obeying the traffic signals. You will not outrun this thing. Here we are in another pub called Picaroons. Look at this, they make ciders and craft beer, but look at the table. Man, I think I found heaven. Look at this, crazy or what? All right, we stopped in at Picaroon's Pub and I got this blueberry cider. They have all kinds of stuff here. You're gonna see in this part of the video, but look at this. They gave us a history lesson. This is called Melon Head. All their beers are made in New Brunswick. How many did they have? It was like, I swear it was like 150 to 100. But Melonhead, this is only available for three months out of the year and then they changed the can up and everything. Pickaroons and St. John. 
All right, this looks like the town square of St. John. One thing I can tell you about St. John's, it's a very historic town. We're heading up to the, one of the largest markets called City Market at the top of this hill. We'll show you more when we get there, right? Exactly. Oh, and I wish that sun was out. You see all these flowers and plants, but again, look at the buildings in old St. John. City Market. I've been looking all day for to get in this place. All right, here we go. City Market entrance. Let's see what this is. Looks amazing. There is nothing like an old farmer's market, and this is it. And if you see a moose, you probably know you're in Canada. Let's take a stroll here and check out some of the vegetables and all the stuff people are buying here. One thing I couldn't wait to see is some of these sodas that you can't get in the States. And when you're in Canada, you got to try this. It's called Dulce. So it's pronounced Dulce? Dulce. Okay. Dulce. Dry seaweed. All right, we continue on in this market. That was called the Dulce. And it's like a red seaweed that comes out of the Bay of Fun Day here. And I tell you one thing, I don't like it. There it is. I see it in the distance called Lord's, Lord's Lobster Fish Market. Look at all the fresh fish here today. All right, I've never seen this. Candied salmon. And look at all this lobster tank after tank. And look at this overhead view in the market. And here we are at the top of the market. You can see it. it's kind of a slanted building. But look at all the flags. I, I tell you, it is a fantastic market. You're in St. John's. You've got to try this. Look at all this stuff. Handcrafted stuff at this market. If you're stopping in St. John's, get off the boat and check some of this stuff out. All right, this is really cool. This is the Loyalist House in Uptown St. John. It like sits on top of a rock. They offer tours here for a couple of bucks, but look at it. It's like the whole town was built around this old house, the Loyalist House. Check it out. All right, this is for all my beer can collectors out here. Check out this place. It's called NB Liquors. If you want to take alcohol back on the ship, this place was fantastic. And look at all the Canadian beers in this video. All right, remember I was telling you about all the history in St. John? There are so many churches here, but the historic churches are just stunning. And, and most of them are open to the public. Just drop a donation in if you can. All right, and also very close to the ship docks is the Market Square Lighthouse and Mall. You gotta go check this out. All right, look at this outdoor seating area. Again, it's very close to the ship. This is where all the pubs and restaurants are. This place will be hopping later. We're here early today. And if you keep walking past these restaurants and pubs, there's a beautiful harbor walk. You can take a stroll along the water. You can learn about some of the history and the fires that destroyed this town. But let me tell you, it's a peaceful, and relaxing boardwalk. I look at the moose. This is the one of the entrances to the mall. It's a, it's time to take you inside and show you. If you like to shop, and you know pub hop and restaurants, there's all kinds of different things to do inside of this mall. And again, this mall is within walking distance from where the cruise ships park. My wife loved this particular shop in the mall. I hope she doesn't buy more stuff. And they even have an upper level with more shops and restaurants and things to see and do. All right, there's something you don't see in the States very often. An old-fashioned phone booth. And look at this detailed model ship of the Marco Polo. And if you look in the distance past the Marco Polo, you can see how close the ship docks are. There's another ship 
cruising in. We're going to have company today. All right, I always love this. Right off where the ship's docked, the local artists and vendors will come down and set up some of their crafts and their local merchandise. Everyone is so friendly here. Looks like my wife found some jewelry that she likes. Spend away, honey. Now look up this beautiful hill. This part is uptown St. John's. You walk up that hill. I can only imagine in a few weeks from now, this place is going to be covered in snow. You don't want to come in wintertime. You talk about your old time pub. O'Leary's it's called. Wow. If you need a drink, St. John is the place. Okay, and a lot of these pork tours, you guys ask me if, if there's a good coffee shop. Well, here is one of them. It's called Catapult. They had amazing coffee. Of course, they got Wi-Fi. So, yeah, there is a great coffee shop in St. John's Catapults. All right, here's this Trinity Church. Look at this. I am not sure, but this whole town burnt down a while ago. And you can see the black. I don't know if that's from it. Maybe we'll find out when we get in here. But let's look at this church inside. Oh my goodness. Is this absolutely beautiful? Like I said, I love churches and this one takes the cake. This is an old 1700 church. I, I just love the history and the architecture. Can you imagine if these buildings could talk? Make sure you're going down all these side streets too. Old time streets. Look at this apartment complex. I don't know who painted this, but it's awesome. And everywhere I turn around, there's another little alley or street. Look at Marcy's salads. Straight across the road. And unique stuff as well. And I tell you one thing, when you're here in St. John, we've been talking to some of the locals here and uh, I, they're very pleasant, willing to talk to you, willing to tell you where to go. But we're heading back to the cruise ship. You can see them there in the distance. But we might stop for one more thing. We'll see if they got it. All right, there's all kinds of free entertainment along the main street. You see this ship behind us there? I'm just watching out for moose right now. Over here to the contain, look at these. These are containers that are shops. I don't know what we're going to find in here, but let's check it out. This, you can see the cruise ship behind us here. This is called Waterfront Container Village. Let's take a stroll through here. In this container village, they got all kinds of things to eat. From Mexican, I saw an oyster bar. All kinds of souvenirs here at the container stores. Maple Farms, that must be some kind of maple syrup products, I'm guessing. This is the pork pod, which teaches you different things about all the cruise industry and how to save the planet. And Jess in New Brunswick, you can even get a tattoo. All right, this is the nut and fudge. We just had this guy's nuts and they were amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So that's it. St. John, New Brunswick is a beautiful cruise port with something to do for everyone. For whether it's shopping, bar hopping, going to see the tide changes at the Bay of Fun Day. This is just a great place to sit back and relax. I'll be back, St. John. And thanks, Canada, again, for your hospitality and letting me share my experiences. Everyone, please make sure you're liking and subscribing. And until next time, have a great day. Light me up, giant.